How can you tell if someone's hypnotized? That's a question we get a lot, and we're going to answer it right now in this video. Well, let's clarify and say, how can we tell if someone is exhibiting trance behavior? That's it. Because we don't necessarily mean formal hypnosis, you're getting sleepy, you're relaxed, none of that. But if you watch people even doing things like watching a television program, the longer they watch, the more they'll begin to exhibit what we call ETIs or external trance indicators. Okay, so let's talk about what some of these ETIs are. Well, first of all, breathing mm -hmm. will change. It'll mm -hmm. tend to become slower and deeper. You'll get people with the blink reflex will slow down and become almost almost absent sometimes, their face will become slack. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, he's doing it. <laughs> you know, the lower lip size can seem to increase because the mandibular Re angle relaxation opens. Of the jaw, it, there's right. all kinds of things going on. Sometimes people will flush mm -hmm. facially. Um, and if you're doing formal hypnosis and their eyes are closed, you may see eyelid fluttering, which is not REM. No, it's not often, REM at all. Often people it's, will mistakenly say, oh, that's uh, that's REM It's happening. not at all. No. It's the onset of eyelid catalepsy right. where, where the muscles just don't work. But people are exhibiting external trans indicators when they're in hypnotic states. And again, we're not talking about formal hypnosis. We're saying they happen all the time. And one of the things you'll see is the eyes unfocused staring, which will happen when people zone out and mm -hmm. you're talking to them and they've left the room in their head. And this is a good indicator that hypnosis is a very natural thing. It's not some special state, some no. magical thing. Thing we do where we read these magic words at someone and they get hypnotized and their eyelids start going crazy or something like that. It's right. a normal thing. If you're a hypnotist and you're doing hypnosis with clients, you're going to see this happening in sessions. You've got to learn to calibrate for these things so that you can know where to go next in your Good session. Good point. Right. Years ago, I saw a hypnosis trainer doing a demonstration and she put someone in and out of trance three times and she was still doing her induction. But because she was reading an induction instead of looking at the subject, she didn't know Notice the trans indicators were already there and then disappearing again as the subject got bored. Awesome. So principles 101, learn how to calibrate, yes. understand what to look for, starting with the baseline and noticing changes from that baseline. These are all principles of hypnosis, which we teach at the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. I am Chris Thompson. I'm Mike Mandel. And we run the Mike Mandel Hypnosis Academy. Yes, we do. If you want to check it out, there'll be a link under this video in the description. And we'll see you in the next video. We're always here answering questions and posting videos on YouTube. And it's a lot of fun. Thanks so again. Thanks once again. And good night. <laughs>